are there cases where Neurolock washers doesn't work? Actually there is, yes. Uh, one could actually be if you have a contact surface underneath the Neurolock washers that can rotate. Okay, I think I understand. So for example, if you have the Neurolock washer and underneath a plain washer that is like loose, then it's not possible. That is correct, uh, because the Neurolock washer will lock the plain washer uh, but the plane washer will not be locked against the contact surface, which means it can rotate and it will be a friction locking and not the wedge locking. Also, there is the problem with hard surfaces because we can't get the impression mark from the serration in a hard surface. Okay, I see. I will not install the washers on my toilet or porcelain. No, because the porcelain surface is a very hard surface, so we can't make the impression marks. And then we have the case with the soft underlying materials. Yes, that was actually my third point, that if you have a soft material as a contact surface, it cannot hold the serrations and it can also be too brittle, so it will just start to rotate. Yes, and this is the case for wood or plastic or any other similar materials. Scenario number four is actually when you have large settlements in the bolted joints. Yeah, and the case with settlement is such that if you have the clamp material under pressure, it will over time compress and it will lead to a loss of clamp load. That is true, and the no lock washers need a certain level of clamp load to work. And this is the case for rubber gaskets, for example. Yeah, that's true. And multi-layer joints. Exactly. <laughs>